Good morning. WordPress block themes are where you design your entire website using the Gutenberg block editor. They're really, really powerful, but the learning curve is steeper than traditional classic themes. So in today's video, I'm going to demystify the 10 most confusing things about WordPress full site editing. In classic themes, the way you generally set your home page is you build a brand new page like I've done here, and then you come down to settings and reading, and you set that as your front page here by clicking static page and then select it in this drop down here. In block themes, you don't need to do that. You just go to appearance and editor, then click on templates, then find your home template, click on it, and now edit this template, and that will now be your new home page layout. Creating menus has been one of the places people have struggled the most with full site editing and the site editor, but here are a few quick tips to help you along. So the first thing is publish your pages first. So get the structure of your site built, just publish your pages, even if they're blank pages, just publish them. Then when you look at the navigation block here, you'll be able to actually click edit up here. It's going to list them alphabetically, a bit like menus operate at the moment. So just click on edit up here. That's going to create a menu essentially. Now you'll see over on the right here, you've got all your pages listed. Now these are all drag and drop. So if I want to drag this home one to the top up here, I can just drag it to the top. If I want to remove a page, I can just click on these three little dots over here and remove it. If I want to add a new page, I click on the plus sign here, click page link and then type the page I want to add and it'll find it and I can add it like that. If I want to create drop down menus, then I just drag it underneath where I want it to go like so and it'll appear as a drop down. If I want to manage menus, I click on the little cog here and I can come to advanced and then I can delete menus. If you want to add social icons or a search block after your navigation, click over on the left here in the list view and click on the navigation block three dots and go insert after. Then you can type forward slash social icons and now add your social icons. Once you've created your navigation and coming in WordPress 6.2, you'll be able to manage it directly from the design screen in the site editor. You'll see I've got this new menu on the left that says navigation. If I click on that, now I can manage my menu directly from this left panel, which is fantastic. It's much more abstracted than having to go into the actual template to edit it. Changing fonts is done like this. Click on edit to go into the template editor, then come over here to the top right. You'll see this little icon here that says styles. Click on styles, come all the way down here and you'll see typography. That's what we want. Click on that. And now we can come in here and change the fonts. For example, if we want to change the headings, we can just switch them around here. You will see a live preview over on the left of what your new heading will look like. If you want to add new fonts to your website, add the free create block theme plugin. Then go to Appearance and Manage Theme Fonts. Then go up here and either choose a Google font or add a local font. I'm going to choose a Google font. Then select the font you want to use. So I'm going for Lobster. Then choose the weight on variant. There's only one here, so add that to your theme. Now to add that, go back to the site editor. Go to your template edit screen. Click over here on Global Styles. Come down here to Typography. And now when you go into your new fonts, your new font will be there and you can select it and you'll get a preview over on the left of what it's actually going to look like. Depending on the theme you're actually using for your website, you might not see all the options that you're seeing on my screen here because the options can be turned on and off depending on the theme you're using. For example, if I go to typography here, when I'm working in the site editor, I see all the options available that are currently available within the block editor. But some themes don't show all of these options. So if you're ever in that case, it's the theme that's probably the issue. The other reason you might not be seeing some settings is you might not be running the Gutenberg plugin. Now the Gutenberg plugin runs several steps ahead of what goes into core WordPress. So if you want the latest and greatest stuff, then install the WordPress plugin, but it's not quite as stable as what goes into core, so just bear that in mind if you are going to use it. Other page builders like Elementor have a container block where you do a lot of your heavy lifting for your page layouts. The full site editor also has a container block, but it's not called container, it's called group. That's where you do it. So just add the group block and you'll see some settings over on the right where you can do some cool stuff. 
For example, in the 2023 theme, this is where you could change your content width, just like putting in a new content width there. Group blocks are great for layouts like I've got up on the screen where I've got a full bleed across the entire website, and it also supports Flexbox, so you can do cool things like this. I've seen a few people make the mistake of putting content into the site editor rather in the page itself. Remember, these are templates. These are not where you should actually add content. It'll just get very confusing if you add real content into your site. What you want to use here in the site editor is just the site editor blocks. For example, the post editor block here will bring in the post content that you write in the actual pages. If you actually put content in here, that content will always show on every single page that you write. If you've made a change to a page template, but you want to revert to how it was originally, there are two ways to do it. Come into the page template and go to the edit screen, click up the top here where it says page, and then come down here and click on clear customizations. That's the first way. The other way is in the dashboard here, come down here to manage all templates, click on that. That's going to list all your templates. Choose the template you want to revert, come across to the right here, click on these three dots and click on clear customizations. That will do the same thing. Template parts are layouts that you manage in one place but are reused on different page templates. The header and the footer are the most common examples. You can manage and edit them here by going to template parts. So anything you edit here will then be reused in all the pages that that template part is used in. So if we go to the page template and edit up here, you'll see the header up here is colored differently because that's telling us that is a reusable block essentially, which is a template part. So even though you can edit template parts directly from your page templates, my strong advice is to always go back here and go to template parts to edit them. It will just make it much clearer to you how things are working. If you want to change the style of your website globally, like layout and typography and the blocks themselves, come into the template editor here, come to block styles in the top right here, click on that, and then come down here and you'll find layout here. This is where you can change the layout for all your pages and all your posts. You can also change the colors of the website here, so the background, the text, the links, the headings, and the buttons. But you can also come into each specific block here and change certain parameters around the block styles. Here are some places you can find some great block themes. The first one is WordPress.org. Just go to download and extend, come to themes, then over here, click on block themes and you'll see a whole bunch of block themes listed for you. The second place is the frost theme, another beautifully built theme. And then here's two more. This one here I love, this is Ano blocks, some beautiful block themes here. And then the final one is Anareal design. Again, some beautifully designed block themes. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If there are any specific areas of block themes that you find confusing, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and do a tutorial for you. If you did enjoy the video, if you can hit the like button down below now, it'd be amazing because it really, 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 really does help spread the word of the video and the channel. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>